Hello everybody, welcome back to some VR tutorials. Today we are going to learn how to use the reticle to activate objects. So, uh, for example, let's say if we have a sphere here, and we want that sphere to change color for whatever reason, say we just need to uh, see that it's activated, this is how you would do that. So, before we get started, I wanted to make sure that I was clear about the external tools uh, because in the last episode, I guess, uh, somebody replied and said that they didn't have the, uh, the particular folder here that, uh, that, they, that I mentioned. So I just wanted to show you that you do. Uh, come to Local Disk C, uh, go to Users, go to Owls and T, and then here is your App Data folder. Now, um, I go to Owls and T because that's the name of mine. Your thing will be totally different. Don't go to public. Just go to whatever your thing is. Now, if you don't see your app data folder in here, don't freak out. Uh, it's normally hidden. Okay, so go to View, and then click on Hidden Items. If I depress Hidden, it disappears. If I click on it again, then boom, app data. Excellent. So we'll close that. And now in here, in order to find that particular thing, just hit Browse. Okay. Go to your PC, local disk C, uh, choose users, choose your profile. Like I said, mine is Owls and T. Yours might be something different, pretty sure. <laughs> then go to app data. Here's your app data. Uh, go to local, go to Android, and here are your folders that you're going to need. So click on SDK1. Don't double click on it, just single click to highlight it so that it's right here. And then hit select folder. Boom. Now everything is hunky-dory. It's all right here. So there you go. That's how you do it. Uh, and then the same thing for this one. It's pretty pretty straightforward, I guess. I don't know. I wouldn't call it straightforward. It seemed a little convoluted, but what are you going to do? All right, so in order for this sphere to change colors, we're going to need at least two materials. So let's go ahead and create at least two materials. So uh, create, right-click create material. All right, so the first one is going to be leaf. We are going to give it a nice leafy color. All right, very good. And just because we can, let's go ahead and make it a little emissive, bring that emissiveness down. There we go, that's perfect. The other one we're going to call rose. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing here. Give it a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Eh, more rosy than orangey. Okay, and emissive. Yes, we want it to be emissive. And bring that down to, yeah, to the six. Okay, so there we go. We've got uh, we've got our two two materials set up. Excellent. Uh, now we are going to need a script. So let's go ahead and right click, create C sharp script. Now, you may be wondering why I didn't just drag those materials over to the sphere. They're not needed right now. So, let's call our new script uh, something funny like um, Rose Colored Changes. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Now, uh, we are using Visual Studio because... Uh, what the heck? We're using Visual Studio because MonoDevelop stopped auto-completing for me. And if auto-complete stops, then it's just not going to work. Because even if you get your script right, you're not going to know until you try to test it. So, uh, failing to figure out how to return that or turn that back on, I am using Visual Studio. All right, first thing we want to do is we want to make some materials that we can manipulate. So, material... And we're going to call the first one No Looky. Because if you remember, we have two states. We have a look state and a not looking at state. And that one is the not looking at state. So let's make another material. And this one is going to be the looking at one. So let's call it I Spy. There we go. Very good. Okay, so we're not going to need an update function. So go ahead and delete that. We are going to need two functions, however, so let's go ahead and make a public void um, totally watching. Yeah, totally watching this thing. Okay, all right. And here we go. So we're going, in order to be able to look at this object, we're going to have to do a 
get component. So there we go, get component renderer. Excellent. And then we need two parentheses to end that out. And then we're going to go material. All right, material. And then it is going to be equal to, so we're totally watching, so it's going to be I spy. Okay? So I spy. There we go. All right, now we're going to do, uh, sorry about that. Okay, now we're going to do another function uh, for when we're not looking. So uh, I could copy and paste, but why? Uh, this way you actually get to see how the process is done. So public void, um, not even looking. Okay, and we are going to round that out, add our bracketes, come down, go back, get component, uh, renderer, and parentheses dot material equals uh, no looky. Excellent. All right. Now, when we first start the program, we are going to need to make sure that the uh, material has got the nobooky script, right? Right. Copy and paste. Whoops. Paste. <laughs> it copied nothing. You get nothing. Good day, sir. Get component renderer and then parentheses dot material equals no looky. Okay, there we go. So, uh, yeah, that should work. That should be good. So we don't have any errors, zero errors. Very good. Save. All right, so just to recap what we did, we created two public materials and then we created two functions. Excellent. And then we created three states for them to exist in. One when we first start up, one while we're watching, and then one when we stop watching. Excellent. All right, so we're saving. We are going back, back to Cali. Uh, let's see. So now we have our sphere here. And we are going to change the name of the sphere so that it's just not sphere. We're going to call him Pepito, because Pepito is a cool name. All right, and it'll be easy to recognize. All right, the very first thing we want to do is add our script, rose-colored script, to Pepito. All right, now we're going to take our leaf color, and it is going to be the color of No Looky. And then we're going to take our rose color, and it is going to be the color of I Spy. See? Rose color changes. Get it? Get it? Get it? Ah, yeah, that's great. All right, and then um, before we go any further, we need an event trigger. Event trigger. Now, this event trigger is good, but we also need something else added to our hierarchy to help us out. So uh, go ahead and come here. GVRE. Uh, we already have our GVR editor emulator in here, but what we want is this GVR event system. So drag that into your hierarchy. I like to place it right here underneath Editor Emulator uh, so that, you know, they're kind of in the same place, keeps things a little organized, don't have stuff laying around all over the place. Excellent. All right, so we've got an event system on there, and then we also have the GVR pointer input module script, which is very important uh, because we could have done this with an event system if it wasn't anything to do with VR. So, okay, so come back to Pepito. Pepito, come back. All right, and we're going to look here in our event trigger, and we're going to add new event types. So when you click on that, it gives you a whole bunch of options of stuff that can be used to activate things. All right, but what we want is we want pointer enter, and we want pointer exit. And the reason for that is, uh, say, this mouse um, icon or whatever this is, the, the pointer, is our GVR reticle. When we hover over it, we are bringing our our pointer has entered. When we leave, our pointer has exited. Very simple. All right, so let's go ahead and add to this list. We want to uh, we want to help Pepito. All right, Pepito. He's good right there. Now let's also pull up Pepito. 
All right, so Pepito is good. Now we need functions. Now we've got our rose colored changes script right here. Now we're going to go no function, find our rose colored changes script, and then we are going to add some conditions. So uh, you notice that we made those functions and now all the functions plus some other crazy stuff appear in this list. So uh, when we drag our pointer enter, we want uh, totally watching. Excellent. And then for this one, we want rose color changes, not even looking. Okay, so there we go. We've got all these guys doing their fun, fun stuff. Now, let's go ahead and test it out, see if this works. So hit play. All right. Oh my goodness, you see that? Excellent. Excellent. Now, before I end this tutorial, I did want to say one thing. All right, what happens if you do everything, you know, according to plan and this thing don't work out? Well, let's let's take a little uh, test of that. Okay, we're going to drag this dude way over here till he's almost out of sight. And then we are going to uh, enlargeificate. We... All right, now let's test this again. All right, now it's not working. <gasps> what happened? Nah, don't don't trip. Don't trip, dog. We got this. Go to Pepito. Uh, we are looking... Actually, it's not Pepito that we want. It is our player. Go to player, main camera. Remember our GVR reticle pointer? Excellent. So we've got this script right here for a GVR reticle pointer. Double click on that. Pull it up, and then a couple lines down, you're going to notice this little thing right here that says reticle distance max. So this will inc we can increase this to something useful, like, oh, I don't know, a thousand. So, yeah, I don't know if doing that is, like, dangerous or terrible, but let's go ahead and try and see what happens. See? Now it works. Excellent. And the reason it works is because uh, this thing is far away, and it's huge. So uh, if you're having problems, just increase your max distance, and it should help you out. So that's the uh, GVR reticle pointer found inside of your player. Uh, so your player, main camera, GVR reticle pointer, and then open up that script, and you should find... Your little thing right here. Right here. Excellent. All right, guys. Oh, yes. Uh, something cool, too. Reticle segments. I'm going to take this down to 5. 20 is a lot, and it makes it look like a nice sphere. But check this out. When we drop it down to 5... Uh-oh. It's overriding right here. Sorry about that. Okay, five. All right, now hit play. Now we've got a pentagram, pentagon. <laughs> Ooh, we've got a five-sided object. All right, so that's kind of cool. So if you wanted to make your own custom, blah blah blah, and uh, also too, here let's let's do one more thing. Uh, let's make a let's make a ah, just a cube. And we'll call this cube, we'll call it Joe. Okay, Joe is cool, um, and we are going to attach Joe to the main camera, not the reticle pointer. Okay, and then we are going to bring this out and shrink him down. You're like, what is he doing? All right, what we're doing is we are making our own little reticle, okay? Uh, and the reason we want to do that is because what if you want to do something with it? So uh, we will go to materials, create uh, material, and this will be my reticle, and we will change that to red. Now, don't get rid of your GVR reticle pointer. It has that awesome script in there, and Joe, he's just additional. So. What we're going to do is now we're going to hit play, and now we've got Joe just chilling right there wherever we want to go. And then, yep, see, 
He goes anywhere he wants to go. Now we have, he's blocking our ability to do stuff, so let's get rid of the collider. And that should allow everything to work again. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. And, uh, oh, I never did give Joe that new material. My bad. What? What? Oh, my reticle. There it is. It needs to be in materials, bro. Alright. We're going to take my reticle, drag it over to Joe. And now we have a red dot. Anywhere we want. Boom. Boom. Excellent. Okay, guys. That is that. Um... I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, we are going to learn how to use this to activate an animation. Excellent, guys. Thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will do my best to answer them. I will see you guys on the very next episode.